Hi Pisces, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your romance reading for October. Wow, we're in Libra and I'm just uh, just shot inside after October. There's only two months left to the year. Wow, uh, I've got my wake up call. <laughs> Never mind. But uh, anyway, I'm using the Transparent Tarot and the Kingdom... <coughs> Tarot of the Kingdom for this month's reading. Okay, because they're vibrant and they're really beautiful and uh, I just wanted to do the reading with an other twist and I've got TLC and an answer of the angels. <sighs> the readings have been really psychedelic up to now. The, the first two really mind-blowing. These cards seem to come together really well. I have to start off with, oh uh, by the way, have a look at your weekly because there are uh, lots of new things happening and I've mentioned it in the weeklies, okay? And thank you very much for subscribing and sharing and hitting the bell. If you don't know how to set the settings, there's also a video in there. But have a look at the weeklies and it's mentioned there, okay my darlings? So let's get into your story and I hope you're well Pisces. You start off well with the Nine of Pentacles and I'm using a pink background because it jump makes the transparent tarot jump up and it's a pink background, very soft pink because love is pink. Be careful, don't w uh, look through rose colored glasses, <laughs> stay realistic. But you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So you're closing a face in your life and you can lay back perhaps a little bit because um, your husband might have had a, a promotion or you might have had a promotion. Uh, but you're taking life as it comes. You're laying back in this deck. So you're going into a financial or material better time. This could be because you might have just joined up or got married or moved in together and you are, you can lay back or take time at easier than in the past because you are building a life together. You might already be hooked up and be this way. Um, you're doing your part but you are taking care of the home and you can relax a little bit more. I know the work at home is 24 hour job especially if you've got children and a lot of people don't realize that so yes sometimes we get tied up but it seems that it, there is a relaxing uh, phase coming towards you uh, a better financial phase as well you have the seven of earth here you can see the tree of life here the tree also represents something is growing you've sown the seeds so you might be reaping this month this could be if you translate it into romance this could be that you have planted seeds in the past to meet somebody or to get connected with somebody or go to a next level with somebody and it's coming to fruition now because a nine is an ending and a new beginning and if I lay this card on top of this card then you are li nearly lying in the grass well perhaps you might be leaning against the tree here okay so you're going into a better time it looks it could even be a sort of like a hillside that you're lying on thinking and pondering on what to do next and you only see the two other trees something is bonding okay you have found your path with a partner if you weren't hooked up and perhaps you might have found something interesting and more tangible within your relationship perhaps the passion has been flying around as you can see the sun is rising on something new a new day is born so you might be harvesting this month what you have sown what you have sown you shall reap you've definitely been active though and that there's still a lot of action happening especially now in the second week you've got the ace of ones and look at those flames passion 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 
make sure you don't burn out okay take it easy go with the flow know your boundaries know their boundaries passion is great but passion doesn't last you want love tangible understanding balance equilibrium respect for each other and look at these two figures looking at each other and that is how it should be now it is depicted here with um, uh, uh, two feminine angels it could be a masculine angel with half long hair so you are sharing look she is giving him uh, a letter so news is on its way this could be um, passion and love but also something nurturing perhaps news to uh, go out to dinner so your partner might be nurturing you treating you to a dinner and passion and you can be talking uh, over dinner on how to carry on the the, the page of uh, uh, water is uh, Pisces so Pisces you are in uh, in the spotlight but don't um, don't um, um, forget Cancer or Scorpio either you could be getting news from them as well and it could be news about love or passion and I think it could be in some cases an offer and it's like somebody is offering you action uh, um, something tangible um, when I see this and I line it up with the mermaid on this side then it is like the backbone that's the first thing that came in okay so she wants to nurture you or they want to nurture you this could also be a man with a nurturing side the feminine side we all have masculine and feminine so she might be offering you something okay or they might be offering you something definitely and as you've got the king of cups here offering you love security care nurturing passion stability going with the flow that nine of wands is really being confirmed in the next two weeks you've also got the night of air so if your partner is away he could be contacting or she could be contacting you with new ideas and sending you news this could be through email text message love letters ooh, ooh, or even telephone calls sloppy soft gooey talking going on with the passion look at that horse going for it and it, it is turning your emotions on the moon is behind this horse okay is going with a force of speed so this news will travel fast and be fast and I think this offer that they are coming in with um, is making you gooey this is what I'm getting with these two cards combined together and it is very loving and caring soft gooey magical fan really like mystical um, feelings atmosphere look at the clouds and the colors and this is happening uh, fast it, this could be happening too fast for you Pisces but take it as it comes because you're going into a beautiful tangible and durable face new face you have the queen of wands don't walk away from it okay if you do don't want it yes obviously you've also got the night of earth so like I said this is tangible durable and for long term they want to be with you water and pen pentacles are slower and gentler not so fast as the air but you have also got air element in here so there will be a lot of communication coming and going 
and thinking. So how, how can we make this tangible? How are we going to do this if you're not hooked up? Don't have your back against each other. Yes, back each other up, but don't split yourself off. This news of the Knight of Pentacles of Earth is bringing you s good news, s tangible news. It's like an investment. They want to make an investment in you, or you could be bringing you the news to this or this offer to another person. This is uh, that could be a next level upwards. So don't worry if you haven't had such a fantastic time and so something is coming to an end. The face there is new development arising, new things. You have been active, like I said, you've got the ones. You've the passion is most probably turning into something long term and tangible. Okay, if you've been married for a long time or coupled up, it might change even into something official. The word from or the answer from the angels is compromise. Learn to compromise, don't go s separate ways, have each other's back. Okay, and the card from the TLC for the soul is the long way round. Now, when I read that that sentence, then it might have taken time, but you're coming together if you fight for it. Are you worried that by going at your own pace, you won't realize your heart's yearnings? Part of your inner debate may very well include the needs or, or emotions of others. You may feel that you are inadequate whenever you fall short of their expectations. However, now and then you, your soul will express an imposing need for tranquility that others may not understand. Therefore, begin by taking notice of the ebb and flow of your natural emotional and body rhythms you've got a lot of water you've got the water here you've got the water there and a lot of and air air water flows so take note of your ebb and flow rhythms when you acknowledge your natural impulse to slow down, you will intuit how best to seize the moment. Be of service to the people in need around you, or attend to yourself, and do whatever you feel needs doing. Allow moments of sweetness, ooh, the gooey stuff, in the middle of the month and the third week. Allow moments of sweetness to arise while in the thick of responsibility of being a mother, perhaps, or a nurturer, a carer. A deep soul calls is inviting you to, re to consider parts of your day as time for just being. And just being is just you. Go out into nature and rejuvenate. Take your own time. Don't let anybody force you. Okay? They can hurry you up and motivate you, but they mustn't force you. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, um, Pisces. And take care. It is a very straightforward reading. I can't make it longer than it is. Um, so again, you've got you've sown the seeds, and now the seeds are coming to fruition. And that's the ending, the new beginning. You can take it a little bit easier. You have compromised somebody. You have been somebody's backbone, but they are also your backbone. Bring your backs together. Don't go separate ways. Communicate like the news you've got the page of water you've got the night of air and the night of earth this um, reading is communicate bring in the balance set your boundaries know what 
you want from your partner and your partner must know what you want and how far where your boundaries are that is also called having respect for each other um, be um, this is how you um, uh, this is how you um, get to know each other and form um, a, 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 such a friendship that it becomes a soulmate. Uh, okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Good luck, enjoy the month, and don't fear, just stay with the program. Love you. I hope you have a beautiful month. Take care and God bless.